Hello, good welcome. It's Saturday morning and it's Derby Day. Good morning, I'm the Flat Racing Guru. Right, today we'll look at UK tips. I've done um, I've done the whole call at Epsom to be to be frank. Um, and we'll take a look at it. I went through the Derby and I've basically I just looked at the Derby today. Um, the trouble is I've been, uh, you know, putting anti-post bets on for years and what I've done this year, I've just said, I've got too much, you know, I'm look, concentrating on three continents. So I'll just take each race as it comes, you know, obviously within the back of my head, uh, past races and, you know, the form of what I've been watching. But I haven't seen all of the Derby form, but we'll go through the horses I did point out for the Derby. Um, and I've done quite a decent little ride up on each horse. Um, I've got a good record in this race, yet I haven't really paid much attention since tipping Massar. 40 to 1 anti post, if anyone can remember that on Twitter. Uh, that was the last time I really took interest in anti post bets. To everyone on Twitter months before, the reason I stopped doing anti post and getting hung up on one horse. Um, you know, because you get hung up on one horse and they just send you over a cliff. You, you get too hung up on one horse and you're not concentrating on what's going on around you. That's why I, I've stopped all that now. You're not concentrating on what's going on and then something happens in the race or just before the race and you know your horse is going to get beat but you still stick with it for some strange reason. You had it in your mind from the start and you don't want to change it but you know in your mind by you know the old experience of what you've gathered over the years that it's going to get beat so that's why basically I think you know doing these anti-post bets is not going to pay um, with the you know the current climate so anyway that's the reason but I just looked at the race this morning obviously I know, know all the horses from previous but I had a look at the pedigrees and the handicap and um, Let's have a look at what I got. And obviously I blah 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 say there what I've done. Right, fifth. So in fifth place I've got third realm. Guru merit rating of 128. Could actually improve. It's better to be small on the bottom and top. Won the Lingfield trial. Which we you know really similar to these conditions. Track is very like Epsom indeed. It's over the road and sorry outside London borders so obviously the Lingfield climb is pretty much the same track as that from isn't it when you come up that hill it's stretching and horses do you know pull clear especially if they're soft conditions I don't know what it's got good to soft you know on the conditions today but I don't know if it you know like yesterday they were coming on the far side and once it gets soft it you know absolutely you know, it's just the, the way the track's designed uphill, um, it's basically you need a jumper, jumping pedigrees, you know, for the distance races. So fourth use spirit, I, you know, the, the trouble is with use spirit's pedigree, it's got nothing on the bottom page, you know, the female line, there's absolutely nothing there, um, you know, but it's, we do, it's run way above its um, pedigree, I mean, there is siblings, and on the you know the sire and everything they're quite decent but if you look at the bottom of the page absolutely nothing there you know to say that it can reach this type of rating but it has so i call these horses freaks i mean it is you know the the stallion is camelot so you know that's an absolute uh you know horse but you know there's nothing on the bottom but that's what i'm saying these horses i see them all the time and they run way above their their sort of pedigree on the bottom and uh, so it could be anything I call them freaks but in a good way I've done third I've got Ball Shea Barrett the favourite I don't think it should be favourite it's, it's only uh, it's obviously got you know it's um, Galileo out of an unread fast dam and there again on the bottom of that page it is a Galileo there's a lot of siblings decent siblings one group racing but the dam line there's just nothing there but they're all related to decent uh, so I can see it there, but basically it's I think the ball so bad. It could be group two, group three horse, uh, group two at best, and it has run in group three races and done well. But 
I still think I'll do okay today. I, I've got a one through three one, so that is a good one rating. Uh, right, third jointly I've got one rule. Uh, Blue Mirror rated a one three one again. When a good race last term at Newmarket, I remember it was just uh, about five lengths off Poetic Flair and the Guineas. Uh, showing keenness but he has to stay really strong it's got, definitely got a strong pedigree on the bottom uh, small group two winning Philly Fintry um, there's a lot of staying pedigree in that that pedigree at the bottom so easily stay the distance this uh, one rule and now the most interesting pedigree is, is my second choice in the derby today and that's Hurricane Lane I've got a 134 good and rated uh, the most interesting pedigree in the field, and if it were not for the brilliance of John Bulger again this year, and whether Hurricane Lane would have been my derby pick, ran a crack at York's Dante Group 2 stakes. His third win on the trot, the dam was a very smart stayer. Um, it's what's more interesting, I spelled that interesting wrong, so I have to go and clean that up. Loved switchback tracks, yeah, the dam loved switchback tracks. She wanted good races at Goodwood, so basically Epsom's good but they put the other way around uh, so that's a good sign I thought and definitely you know with being out you know having this pedigree by frontal I thought this was very interesting also the staying capacity of the female line on the bottom of the page uh, one mile six you know there's a lot of stamina on the bottom of the page as well and you've got that speed with Frankham and actually this horse does look like Frankham if you go and have a look but only not more she, he's not athletic like he's much more powerfully built than Frankel, Frankel but he looks exactly like him but a bigger version of Frankel um, so he's going to stay and I thought that um, I just immediately thought of the St. Ledger uh, and I think there's, there's three races that Royal Ascot he could go for as well over a mile and a, a half uh, and that's all in the writing here so um, if you read the right up, the history. If you, but Royal Ascot seems a bit close after this race. But anyway, he's six to one. I've got half a point each way. That's not twelve points each way. That's half a point. I put, forgot to pull a little squiggle. And uh, my first choice for the derby today is Max Wayne. He won three eight. I've got him on Guru Merit rated. Look, an absolute machine to beat the Tip Poetic Flair. I tipped Poetic Flair last time at the Curra. Um from the front over a mile last year that was a form as rock solid the, the best mile form in Europe now all we want to know is the distance well the whole family were bred by this operation and they were just a plethora of staying ability in this lineup by the derby producing winning sire to boot I'm actually in shock why the bookies have give this a price 11 to 2 it shouldn't be 11 to 2 this should be favourite because it is not trained by Aidan O'Brien. If one actually looked at Jim Bolger's new training regime, well he has, he's, he's went to university and he's got this whole new system of training horses, um, if anybody knows, and that's why he's having all the success this year. So he's got this whole new system, science-based, science, science based, um, data-based uh, way of training this year, and, and he's reaping the rewards. And this horse is 11 to 2, and you know, it could win by. I mean, the if, obviously we, we don't know if he stays, but all the dams and everything stayed, stayed, and stayed, stayed. This horse will stay, and obviously you've got the stallion new approach. Stay, stay, stay. There is absolutely no problem of this horse getting this trip, and the ground won't matter whatsoever. Um, so basically, the jockey has to steer this. Um, Max Sweeney now. I do like this um, also this Hurricane Lane I think these two are, are def definite group one proper proper group one horses and I think this Max Sweeney uh, this Hurricane Lane sorry is will be you know being by American Pharaoh he goes to the Breeders Cup turf you know um, have I got that wrong it's not by American Pharaoh it's by Frank I was thinking of something other hells yesterday sorry not a Merlin Pharaoh, it's Frankel, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, I'm getting mixed up in pedigree from the Yorks, sorry. So anyway, this Max Sweeney, um, he beat my horse last time, the Guineas when I put a flare, dead all the way, I just couldn't get to him. And obviously I was thinking, will he not be as good over this mile and a half? 
will that race take a bit out of him well you know possibly but the, this you know you've got to say this horse is absolutely magnificent and um, you're putting up a, a horse that won a group three um, obviously Galileo and it's got no pedigree on the bottom of the thing and you're putting this horse up as favourite well listen I haven't been listening to anything I don't listen to anybody I don't know what's been said I don't know what the trainers have said I'm basically looking at the pedigrees and the ratings and what they've done and I'm just giving you the balanced opinion now obviously the trainers know more than me so if they're saying something else go by what they say you know but I'm just telling you what I'm looking it's pure form it's pure data in its pure form there's nothing else there's no in between like this is this person said this that person said that there's no interference because i haven't looked at any other people's words i've just made me own looking at the form and the pedigrees so this is just pure now obviously the one or two may be catching pigeons at home i don't know